Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So now to go to the uh, hour twenty two minute one there again. There you go. We get the last two endings okay. through the right wing of the manor on the first floor. By the way, Ryan. Yeah. I figure this is a good enough time to ask. Does the narrator have any names besides narrator? Um, I call him officially the host. Okay. And on on that thought process of names and everything, you remember Simon, right? Yes, I do remember Simon. Was he the weird monstrosity that was at the painting and then suddenly we weren't there anymore and we only saw him for like two seconds? No. Where was Simon then? Simon was the thing where says little marshmallow I'm coming in. It was the insectoid looking thing. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, that, that was it. That we didn't say for two seconds, but you're correct then. It was actually yeah, it was a, like... a, there was a recent piece of fan art of him I'll show you in a second. All right. Yeah, I was wondering because we saw Valerie for longer than we did saw Simon. Yeah. So also, Simon. I just realized, is this roll. the room that there's nothing in because it's uh But there's something in it right now. Oh. It wasn't before, but you found it. Enneagram key. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! Party all night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I found the piece of fan art. We'll link it into uh, the private message Discord here. Or when you need to look at whenever. Alright. Well, I shall check in just a minute. Well, yeah, yeah. not just a minute. I guess uh, right after we finish this, I'll check it. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming whoever the fan is won't mind if I link it because, you know, we're talking about it. They probably won't. This wasn't a door here before, and it was locked, and I don't see a keyhole either. We never went through that door, so, you know, that's interesting. Locked out and see any sort of keyhole. Was there something else over on the that dining side room? Else? You just the, the door that you haven't paid attention to. That's what you just unlocked. This one. Yeah. Of course, okay. the one door you don't check. Yeah, that's very typical for me. Yeah, but I'm here to put you along the path. The door is locked. There doesn't appear to be a keyhole, but there is mush. Yay! Yay! So, about this uh, punch that they mentioned was, like, out of control. Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious. Can I drink some of that? Like, am I old no. enough? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you want to drink it in the first place. It was probably spiked. But no, yeah, you can't try to it in there. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't care. I'm a psycho killer. I don't really care about conventional laws. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not even just laws. It's probably a pretty bad trip, I'd imagine. Nah, not, sure not saying you're not already on a pretty bad trip type of deal, yeah. but... I mean, to be fair, I just went to a castle in the sky, like some kind of tower in the sky, and just killed again and again and again, presumably. I experienced death that I haven't even experienced You can leave the room yet. again. Hmm? You can leave the room. So I, I just obviously anything. liked you looking at the dining room, appreciating the tables. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where the hell did the door go? The door is missing. <laughs> awesome! Right. Um, also, this house does not seem physically possible. Probably isn't. I'm, I want to see somebody recreate this in like uh, a 3D Team space one. and see how it looks. <laughs> the factory. Head back. There's no return from here. Okay. Sorry, but I don't follow directions twice. I'm a really bad listener. He looks fossil. Should I save? Yeah, I'd recommend it. Save over 15. Okay. Okay, I guess these are not important. Just having their fun hooky hook thing. It reminds me of face. Well, that is highly irregular. Reminds me of Face, which I'll put on screen right now for any of those who don't know who Ryan's face is. Yes, that is yeah, Ryan's face. Some kind of yeah. pillar? 
They almost look like hands growing out of the ground. Some kind of pillar? Woman covering herself? Huh. Yeah, I kind of feel that way too. Not gonna lie. I like, uh... I like the Marshmallow Monk because they have my kind of reactions. Just stare at a weirdly disturbing thing and go, Huh! Well, still you like an appearance, it feels more like foam, actually. No matter what I press, nothing happens. Is the machine even on? I did not even know that was a machine. It kind of reminded me of a binder or a book. To the right, empty cage detected. To the right, empty cage detected. To the right, Watashia 0112. What? Indigenous to that thing. This species is quite ferocious in open spaces, but remains almost completely motionless when caught in an enclosed space. This strange trait made it ideal specimen, though a bit of a hindrance to catch. Okay. Dissection has uncovered that the creature has no internal organs. Furthermore, while it feeds by absorbing organic material in itself, it doesn't gain nutrients or any evident gain from these feedings, leading to question of what exactly derives the behavior. Okay. They almost look at hands growing out of the ground. Empty cage. Foreign parameters. Cage is open and empty. Well, I'm in there, so no, it's not. Just saying. Well, the scissor-like appearance feels more like foam. Yeah, I got that. Ooh. Sixteen. Bottom left. This one. This one? This one. I did it! Ah! Ah! That wasn't right, was it? Probably wasn't. Oh, no. These are reversed. You know this. Confused. <laughs> I think it was right. This looks weird. Ah, oh, come on. That was yeah, stupid yeah. of me. Why did I not think it would go up? It's okay. Okay. In this one. Down this one. All the way up to this one. Up here. Come on. This is some corpse party bullcrap. Yeah, I was like, I got better pathfinding and things in the future. Unfortunately, this one is not part of that. Alright. This one? I've never seen this one before. Uh, nor have I seen this one. I think I saw part of that room. Ah! Hey, that's cheating! Run! Don't cheat. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> I'm getting. Out, bro. I'm getting real tired. He's not popping out of anywhere, which is the worst part. Normally, monsters are supposed to be the one popping out trying to scare you. I'm the one popping out scaring myself. <laughs> I've had it. All the way up here. Down here. Through here. Yay! I don't remember which one to go through. This one? No. This one. This one. Okay, I need to think this through. Which one do I go through when I go through that? Or do I just go through the top one? What? Kill myself. Almost, right? yeah, okay. I don't know. Um, I can get it. There's two I... endings in this maze. I'm gonna tell you that one right now. So there's two what? possible exits. Two of them? Yeah. 
One of them you could have only gotten if you interacted with the radio at the party earlier, so I told you to interact with this heads up. The other one you could have just got it either or. Okay, I need to I not run down because I trap myself if I do that. Yeah, yeah. The maze hunt begins! It's All more right. of just trying to dodge this stupid thing over and over again. I want to make sure that you didn't just go back in the one you came from. No, that they're ended. all consistent. It's not like this teleport. The teleports will always lead to the, the other teleport. They're okay. always linked. It's not like... Just know that they are always a two-way teleporter. That makes it easier, I know. Yeah. I figured that was the case. Just know now, that there's never an inconsistency. Like, this teleport takes you to where that teleport would have brought you. No, it's always... They're always a two-way tunnel thing. Okay. You're not scary. <laughs> not over there. Come on. You didn't catch me. He was just next to me. Like that one ghost earlier. You know the ghost I'm talking about, Ryan? I know exactly what ghost you're talking about. The one that could get me from two squares away sometimes. Yeah. Go all the way up. I think I have the right idea. Let's just go through this one. Um, no way. Oh yeah, that actually went to a different. Oof. Um. Back in this one. Back in this one. Um, this one. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Bottom right. Okay, that just led back into the same one. <laughs> okay, now I'm back in here. Ryan, why? Okay, I headed down last time, and that led into this mate. No, it headed here, and then this one leads here. Now, this is the only one I haven't been through. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey! It kind of looks like a tree, but also kind of like a spider face, but also kind of like hell. Oh. As soon as I stepped inside, I began to move. Not of my own free will, but by some powerful, unknown force I couldn't fight against. I couldn't will my body to do anything. I became something of an involuntary specter to the sights and sounds of the deep workings of the factory. I came witness to many things I wish I could unsee. Strange alien machinery littered about. Horrific, monstrous forms of beings whose appearance were more terrifying and strange than any arachnid or deep-sea creature I'd ever seen. I was feeling sick, nauseous. The urge to vomit again and again came over me, but nothing seeped from my throat. It was as if I were statues, seeing through someone else's eyes. No matter how hard I tried to close them, close your eyes, <laughs> they stayed wide open, struck, stuck, gaping, bolding, bulging, bulging out of my head. Yeah, I remember it was there's a G. Uh, I welcomed the delves into pure darkness as an escape. Oh, chance to match myself, no to will myself to someplace else, anywhere else. What had been once an unpleasant memories registered now, but as fond days to escape into the depths of my mind for. They were, in comparison, some of the happiest days I could yearn for. These moments in darkness never lasted long. I feared the glints of light as they quickly approached, lurching me out of the escapist dreams into an ocean of horror. But even these dreams were haunted by the wretched sounds of machines. Eventually, it came to a screeching halt. At first, I thought I must be dead. I must have lost my life just now, but if only such a kind fate awaited me. The humbling cackles of the machinery left me acutely aware how childish this hope must be. Before I knew it, I was laid down strapped to a cold, hard table. The pain that followed was almost merciful. Yeah. When I came to, I recognized myself as being in an enclosed space. My sense of feeling was numb but present. As my consciousness phased back into being, I started to ache all over. Subconsciously, in response to this pain, I tried to heal over it, but found I could still not move. Where am I? What were they doing to me? Who or what even are they? I felt wrong somehow, but I couldn't quite place my finger on it. Being unable to move, witnessing going through such nightmarish events is obviously wrong, but this felt deeper than that, more personal. As my mind tried to pinpoint where this odd feeling was coming from, my thoughts wandered to my situation. Where exactly was I? 
It was dark, but there must have been some seen white. There must have been unseen light source somewhere, as it wasn't impossible to see. As I pondered, I began to become aware that there was something lining the closed-in walls, almost like a wrap of plastic, but more like a liquid. Am I underwater? I thought this for a moment, but concluded shortly that this wasn't. That wasn't it. It was as if the walls themselves were encoded with motionless liquid, and it was then that I realized that faintly my form reflected off the surface, unable to close or move my eyes. I did my best to focus them. Focus. Focus. What am I? That's ending six out of seven machine. Six out of eight. Yeah, six out of eight. Sorry, it used to be seven. But now it's eight. That's a week ago. All right, but yeah, so six, six out, out of eight is machine. Yep, and, and uh, one more again. I'm actually happy this is the last name that you're getting. I'm curious what inspired that. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna give any comment on that. You want to really know? Echo the Dolphin. How? <laughs> if you know Ex Echo the Dolphin, it'll make a little bit more sense, but also not. It's just my mind goes places when I start thinking about things. Wasn't there something about aliens or something in that? Yeah. Yeah, I have not played it. I've heard of it. I heard how it gets really weird by the end. I'm curious to play that game, but I don't own it, so... Uh... It's on sale right now. They're in the Steam sale for like a dollar or something. Oh, really? Ah. Huh. Huh, cool. So, now I just need to figure out where the... You're actually really close if you're here. Uh, go to the right. It's one of these directions. Um, up. Maybe it's up. Let's try it up. It's not up. Go back in. Go yeah, back I know. In. I figured that when I've already been there. I've already been through that portal. Okay, go down. No, okay, go back to the portal. Maybe it's the other, maybe I'm thinking opposite direction, but I know it's somewhere close to where you were. Try going down. Down leads, uh, here. This is how I originally got into that maze thing, see? Yeah, okay, yeah, go back in then. Wait, actually, there are two mazes? No, there's only one maze like that. Go to the left. No, 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 wait. Uh... Go back to the right, because it must be the opposite direction. Give me a sec. Okay, yeah, those are on the same spot. I was really, like, what? I thought that was, that middle one was to the right right <laughs> My memory okay, tells me something close to this. So. so it must be something around here. I'm not sure. Try going to the right one here. Yeah, this is it. Go down. I haven't seen this one before, so this must be it. And this Yay. would be closed if you didn't interact with the radio earlier. Anyways, let this happen. Fun, fun. There's the light coming through. I finally found it. Proof of aliens. Welcome, Marshmallow Shaker Plane. You have done well to come here. You have unlocked the mysteries of the galaxy. The, the mysteries of the what? You have unlocked true knowledge. All you must do is ask it, and it shall be known. True knowledge? Any question I ask? Okay, I think I get it. Y you're an alien, right? Yes, to be blunt, I am what you Earthlings know as an alien. In fact, everyone you've encountered along this journey are, in fact, aliens. To be honest, I am surprised you didn't discover this sooner. Literally, the man who talks a lot is green. How could we make it more obvious? Uh, that's fair. <laughs> Listen, Earl, I'll take it from here. Now, don't you go touching that dial. So, what was your name again? I guess it doesn't really matter. Names aren't important. Me? Well, I'm the host. Are you ready? Ready to watch you ask. The next exciting questionnaire! How do you feel your rainbow lights comes as a life from your neck? I knew you really were the talent of her, with the flesh of her throat. Really
really got to be there. Were you past looking for something? There's something that lives inside me. So is this just the song now? Oh, there's a bit more to it if you want to listen. Alright, no, keep listening. I like completing games. It's fun. It grows and divides inside me. It's making a home beneath my scale. See, dude, that's a rather mess of the it's okay, we all do have a few flaws. But despite what you may think, I'm just here for you to ask a few questions to help you out. From the bottom of my heart, I'm not going to judge you, hurt you. I'll support you no matter what you choose. We all have choices to make. I'm just here to help you make yours and help you find your way. Psychopathic, bloodlust, deep range, messed up, brutal kid, animal, and cop, serial killer. But you're a murderer. We all knew it. There's no secrets between us. I guess the real question is the what, it's the why. So why did you kill all those people? Poor kids. Did you have a reason? Why did you kill her specifically? Don't you miss her? There's something that lives inside me I promise I never let it end oh. You can skip that if you want to, I don't think there's anything else to it. Does it end once, uh, it, it doesn't, I'm not sure, I think it's it might be, but we'll find out. No, it does end. Continue then. Jeez, is he still going at it? He really is, sir, talks a lot. Stop! He already did. Sorry, Ryan, yeah. but uh, I broke your game. Nah, you're fine. What? Was there something wrong with it? I just want to ride the spaceship. Oh. Well, you could have just said so. Everyone say aliens! Aliens! Aliens, I guess. Oh, Marshall, look, you're such a kidder! Giddy up! <laughs> Okay, so this one's different, and this yeah. is the final ending, correct? Yeah, I mean, 7 out of 8 used to be 7 out of 7. I'm uh, really glad... Was... Hmm? This ending, by the way, is a totally canon ending. It's titled the Totally Canon Ending? Yeah, that's the title. Is it. it is it inspired by the Silent Hill 2 ending? Oh, come on, of course it is. Not just Silent Hill 2, but the Silent Hill series alien endings. Yeah. I was no. curious. What if, what if I said no? If you said no, I would have to know what inspired it, if not that. No, uh, this one was directly inspired by the Alien and Ace of the franchise. So, after all that, I'm glad I ended it with this ending rather than the 8th ending. I kind of wish I had done the 7th ending and then the 8th ending. Like, I did, like, uh, I went and got the 6th, and then rather than going to get the 7th, I went and got the 8th and then went to do this one. Because this one, honestly, I, I think this is appropriate to be the finale of it. <laughs> Makes sense. The, I was the fortune. I should have made it a little bit hard to get because some people get this as their first ending. It's like what? <laughs> they got this as the first ending. Some people, and not, it's very rare. But on occasion, people get this as the first thing. It's like uh, there's even a few reviews. Like I got the alien ending first. I don't know what the fuck to think. <laughs> How? Like, good, good job, guys. I have I have a lot of respect for you. You went out of your way, touched everything, and managed to somehow end up there first of all. Like, it was a 50-50 shot at that point. <laughs> if you made it all the way to that point, 
and then you had a 50-50 shot of getting whichever one it was. If you had done so, everything up to that point. Without the DLC play yet, and this this a little as I said right right there, a quick little sloppy game. Uh, how'd you like it? Just be honest. Be brutal. That's kind of Um, there were a few like odd things like aesthetically early on. There was like that one light I pointed out where it didn't look quite right. And there was that weird line in the ground during uh, the thing where if you look at the TV, you die in the room before that or after that or something. There was a weird line. Uh, that, there was the only visual glitches I noticed right off the Well, not maybe glitches, but visual weirdness to me. Story-wise, I really like this. I really like this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I like the voice acting that was applied to it because a lot of games don't have it. The music was really good. The sound effects were interesting. And uh, I'll definitely play the second game. And you said it was going to be a like paid for game. Yes. Well, I'll be picking There'll it be up immediately. There'll be a lot of improvements. That's all I'm going to say. I uh, I think it's really good, and I can't wait to play more of your games, Brian. Yay! Of course, we still have the DLC to go through, but we'll be recording that later. But I'm sure we'll be part of the same video series. All right. So I'm going to end it so that that noise isn't keep going to keep going. We're going to end yeah, things yeah. here on this screen. Oh, boy. So, next time, we'll be going to the DLC. Yes. Ryan and I will cover that. Ryan, thanks for joining me on this. Of um, course. We just 100%ed the full game, like the uh, main game, not the DLC. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope that you join me in the future for more projects that are kind of like this. I'd love to, though, given, like, you know, Red Haze comes out literally a month from today, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I may or may not be planning to play that game pretty soon. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I you may or may not join me, depending on your schedule. I mean, for I'll all I know... I'll join you. Well, actually, there is something which may come up which may or may not make it happen. Depends if you play it immediately when it comes out or... I, I would afterwards. wait. I would wait for you to be available. Okay, because immediately after I release the game, I'm going on a trip to goddamn Mexico. So. <laughs> I was about to say that if you go on a trip to Paris, we can't do it immediately. But then you said that. Yeah. I, I guess I would have been wrong because you would have gone on a trip to Mexico, not it's Paris. Part of the reason why I'm pushing to release on July 29th is because then I'm on a trip for like two weeks, two and a half weeks. Because I, uh -huh. my sister graduates, and then of course my family has to be like, let's not just go to graduation. Let's turn to a goddamn huge family trip. And, like, oh, and then there's okay. me, and I refuse to go to my own graduation. <laughs> oh my. I was the exact opposite. I didn't want a party. I just wanted, like, a couple people to have a nice meal, like, for us to sit down for that's my mom to make meatloaf or something. See, that's how I personally prefer it, but my family is different than I. Yeah. Well, well every, everyone's different and unique. So, guys, in their thanks, own for way. thanks for listening to us ramble, and I'll see you all next time on Close Your Eyes. And remember, close your eyes. It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And suddenly, all at once, my legs won't let me stand. I scratch till my fingers go numb. But my skin never bleeds A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep There's something that lives inside me I promise I never let it out oh, 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 oh. It goes into fire me. It's making a home beneath my skin.